and in this lecture today I'm going to talk to you about selection of primary antibody, secondary antibody and blocking serum for immunofluorescent staining. Okay, so first is an example here we have mouse and from the mouse we prepared mice liver section. So now we have this liver section is a cryo section on the slide. So let's say that the protein that we want to detect is mouse atna 4 alpha then what is the primary antibody that we will use? The primary antibody that we will use is anti atna 4 alpha because we want to detect atna 4 alpha protein therefore our primary antibody should be against atna 4 alpha and then what should be the source of primary antibody? The primary the source of primary antibody uh, should ideally be any other animals than the, than, than the animal from where the section was taken. Here in our example, the section was from mice. Therefore, the source of primary antibody ideally should not be from mice, but it can be from any other animal such as rabbit. Therefore, the primary antibody that we have used here is rabbit anti asana for alpha. Okay, so then what should be the secondary antibody? Okay. The secondary antibody should be against the source of primary antibody. The source of primary antibody, the source of primary antibody is rabbit. Therefore, the secondary antibody should be anti-rabbit. As an example here, we have here anti-rabbit. And what should be the source of secondary antibody? The source of secondary antibody should ideally be neither mice nor rabbit. So it can be, as an example, goat. And the color we have used here is Alexa Floor Poetiate. The color you choose depends on your experimental condition and also depends on the kind of color that you want to see. Okay. The secondary antibody is what? This is against the source of primary antibody. The source of primary antibody is rabbit. Therefore, we have anti-rabbit. And the secondary antibody source is here in our example, goat. Okay. So this is secondary antibody. Then what should be the blocking solution containing as the serum? The blocking solution should contain uh, the serum from the animal from where the secondary antibody is coming from. For example, here in our example, the secondary antibody source is goat. Okay, the secondary antibody source is goat. The secondary antibody source is goat. Therefore, the blocking solution that we will use is 5% goat serum in PBS plus 0.1% tritone. Okay, blocking solution should contain the serum and this serum should come from the animal from where the secondary antibody is coming. Okay, so one more time. So here we wanted to detect mouse atna alpha in my section. The primary antibody that we can use in this case is anti atna alpha and it should come from any other animals other than mice, such as rabbit anti -HNO4 alpha. The secondary antibody should be against the source of primary antibody. Therefore, it will be anti-rabbit. Okay, it will be anti-rabbit because primary antibody is coming from the rabbit. And the, uh, and the animal, the source of secondary antibody can be um, animals other than mice and rabbit, ideally. Okay, so the color we have selected is Alexa Floor 488 goat anti rabbit and the blocking solution the blocking solution should contain a uh, five percent goat serum why goat serum because the secondary antibody a uh, source is goat therefore we will use blocking solution um, and that blocking solution should contain five percent goat serum in pbs plus 0.1 percent tritone i hope this video was helpful